Hi everyone, Tim here. So you've caught me in the understairs cupboard about to change the settings on my Eddy device. So over the summer I've been on the Octopus Flux tariff which has had a very good export rate for anything that we export back to the grid. Which means I didn't want the Eddy doing any diversion of any power um, into the hot water. So what I've been basically doing is using the Eddy as a sort of fancy timer and just heating the hot water overnight during the off-peak flux period. Um, but now that it's October I'm switching to Octopus Go instead. And that means that I um, don't really want to export any power if I can avoid it because the export rate isn't anywhere near as good as the as the flux export rate, which means I now do want the Eddy to do solar diversion on the rare days where there's enough sun that uh, we don't need all that power and uh, any excess, well, I may as well use it to heat that water, hot water instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the settings that I'm going to change to make sure that, that happens. Right, so the settings we're going to change are under the advanced settings uh, supply grid and device settings and we're going to change the uh, supply grid export threshold and the export margin uh, values. So the export threshold as you can see in uh, what's this page 15 of 24 in the uh, user guide for the eddy um, which uh, the export threshold is the amount of export that must be exceeded before ed the eddy starts diverting power to the heater loads. Once diverting starts, all the surplus power, less the export margin see below, will be diverted to the heater load. And so if we read the export margin uh, at the bottom there, this sets a minimum level of export power which is maintained when the eddy is diverting surplus power to the heaters. Normally export margin would be set to zero, uh, zero watts, and all of the available surplus will be diverted to the heaters. However, it is sometimes desired to have a minimum export level at all times. So yeah, we're basically going to um, set, change the settings from what I had in uh, over the summer uh, to what uh, I want for the winter. So I'm going to go into uh, menu and then down to device settings. Press the button there. And then down to advanced. Enter. And the code is still 000. zero, zero and we need to go into supply grid and if i scroll all the way down you'll see we've got the export margin here set to 50 watts and the export threshold currently set to 6000 watts and the response delay i've set to 20 seconds just to make sure that the eddy waits 20 seconds to make sure that there's sort of a stable export before it uh, does any diversion so the reason i've done that is i basically don't want the battery to drain into the eddy into the hot water so this just makes sure that i've got plenty of uh, stable export before that happens so the reason why uh, the reason i set this to 6000 watts over the summer is i didn't want the eddy to do any diversion at all so um, we're never ever going to be exporting 6,000 watts. Uh, the, uh, the export limit that we've got on this, uh, in this house is, is 5,000 watts, five kilowatts. Um, so that means that uh, we're never gonna be exporting more than, more than five kilowatts. And so uh, the eddy will never receive a sufficient power for it to di do any diversion. Um, so what I'm gonna do is that's the value I'm gonna change. So let's enter, enter that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that down to about 100 watts. There we go, 100 watts. And I'm going to leave the export margin at 50 watts and the response delay at 20 watts. So what this means is that um, if we happen to be exporting more than 100 watts for more than 20 seconds, the eddy will start to divert the power to the uh, immersion heater and it will divert all power except for 50 watts and 50 watts will continue to get exported back to the grid and that's just to make sure that uh, we're never gonna gonna drain the home storage battery so that should work now and uh, all, I can, all i need to do is just head back up to the top and uh, uh, there we go and now it's just waiting for surplus so um, in fact it might start to divert pretty soon because that is um, what well, we're exporting th uh, 300 watts so it should start to divert 250 watts after about 20 seconds um, and uh, that will then start there you go um, and it's now starting to do a bit of heating 200 watts into the eddy into the immersion heater and nothing is going out to the grid as should be about 50 watts actually but it's rounded to to zero there because it doesn't have a second decimal point uh, point um, so there you go i think that's all working and uh, that was just a very quick video hope that hope you found that useful and uh, i'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching